We were chatting about some of these games. Athletic taking on Real Madrid. Let's start there because Real Madrid, they lose Benzema this summer, but they bring in Jude Bellingham. How do we see this side lining up? How do you think they'll fare? It's, it's not like for like, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so you're still missing a top prolific goal scorer. Yep. Real Madrid are tip, typically always have the nine. Oh, there's one. To worry there's about one on that. layaway. He's in France right now, well, just waiting. Well, Boom. let's get but, there. And Mbappe doesn't want to play the nine. I know, I know. We'll talk about that's, that in a second. That's the thing. I, and it, but he, he is a goal scorer. He is a goal scorer, but he doesn't want to play the nine. No. And you have Vinny Ju Jr., and he's not going anywhere. Mm -mm. And this is Rodrigo. Jr.'s. And Rodrigo, Jose Lu, Jose Lu in the wings. Rodrigo could move. Yeah. And he would have to right. if Mbappe came to the team. C correct. But he they would be still the, have the to get a nine. Yep. That's so Real Madrid are in, in a in a in a weird position because you brought in Jude Bellingham. Not that you needed another midfielder, but Jude Bellingham is obviously exceptional. They're they're deep in the midfield. Mm -hmm. They're they're gonna control games. But they still need a goal scorer. Ah, they brought on this guy from Espanol, I believe. Ah, he was on the national team. They, they brought a nine, a Spanish nine, but he's not top tier. I forget what his name is. Um, but he's n not top tier quality. He had a stint at Real Madrid beforehand, early in his career, and then he was kind of like a La Liga man who was bouncing around <laughs> a little bit, and now he's back. He had a he had a breakout season. Oh my god! Let me ask you guys I'm this: Where Mbappe shows up tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. He's you're moving Vinicius. Let's leave the nine alone. You're moving Vinicius to the right, putting Mbappe at left. Joe Salou, no? Oh, no, no, hey, forget hey, that. Forget the nine. Jose Lu, forget the nine for a second. Jose, where, will, play, Jose Lu will play nine. I imagine. Forget the nine okay, sorry, for continue. a second. Where does Vinny go? Does he stay, or that's does a, he? Oh, you got to move him to the right. I'm just asking. What do you guys think? I think Vinicius Jr. stays in that On position. the left? Yes. And Mbappe goes? He's going to be the nine. He's going to have to be the nine. Forget the, the nine. Moment. Imagine I, there was I, a nine there. Do you think he's going to play the nine? Imagine what Benzema do do? was there. Where that's would you the, put Vinicius? I think that's the biggest issue that Ancelotti has. Mind you, and Ancelotti, I wonder how the players take it, knowing that he's going. it's his last year he's going to Brazil at the end of the mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. That might affect the, the dressing room, how serious everybody... I mean, obviously, they're going to have a, a high level of professionalism, but... Knowing that your manager it's his last year, mm -hmm. there's. I, I don't know. The question it's, is, it's what very, you, it's a very difficult situation. What is the prototypical you, nine you, you, you would want to go after if you have Vinicius uh, and Mbappe available? That's the question. Do you force one of them to play the nine? Obviously, it would be Mbappe in this situation. Or do you go out and look for a nine? And if you do, is it a back to goal? Is it a uh, link up person? Is it someone a bit more central? You, you, well, you can't. Direct, I should you, say. you can't change to four in the midfield because. It's too deep. And you have Kamavinga, Chumani, uh, Bellingham, and you have Valverde, Cruz, Cross. Uh, Modric. Modric still. So you still need to play with five in the midfield. Of course. A hundred percent. In the nine position, maybe it's if you get Mbappe on a free, you can still invest and get a, a striker. Maybe not the top top, but someone who can play a role where they're not maybe relied on to be the, the number one goal scorer, someone who's better at facilitating for Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe. Can I throw because... out a name? Go ahead. Um, okay, so here's what I would do. Okay. Mbappe on the left. Florentino Guerreros. No, you say, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I'll take it. Uh -huh. um, I'll take the paycheck as well. You yeah, ask Vinicius, please play on the right. I know it's not perfect, and Fair. I love Vinicius. Uh -huh. I love Vinicius then... on the left. Lukaku has the nine. Not, you're not putting all the hopes of scoring on him. Obviously can provide in a pinch. Loves to play with his back to goal. Link up would be beautiful. A lot of defenders would leave him because you got Vinicius and Mbappe sitting there. So he'd have a lot more space. He'd have a lot more time on the ball. The, there's, a I think there's, there's an overpopulation uh, of, of midfielders as well. You guys gave me no Val, reaction. Valverde. Though, I mean, it's, I, I, I like the speculation. Uh, Lukaku, like... They can sign a nine, and I think they should sign a top quality nine, but there's going to be players that are going to be unhappy because Mbappe comes. Rodrigo is top quality. Of course. He should not be sitting on the bench. You know who else is top quality and is probably going to be sitting on the bench? Fede Valverde. He is very good. Mm. And where that's, do you slot him? That's how you win championships. Where do you slot him? Look into at the Manchester City. There's a number of players who are sitting on the bench that, are, got two top, that are top quality. But that's how you chase Champions League. That's how you win Fair. troubles. You Fair. have to have depth and, and players who are pushing one another to, to be unhappy on the bench because mm -hmm. you want to push in. You can be unhappy as long as you're still bought in. 
So as, long, as, long as, you, uh, as long as you're still Fe Fede Valverde has been this, bought in for a while. He's already won. He's, he, he should be a starter. to yeah. start uh, somewhere. Ancelotti reportedly wanted Lukaku back in April. So there are so, there's something to that. Mm. That style of I don't uh, nine, mind it. that style of nine, uh, to me, is perfect, and he'd probably be really inexpensive at the moment. Honestly, that is your your best take and, in history. Well, and you get a Lukaku. <laughs> no, Alexis, it's a good point too because you get I don't a Lukaku. Like it then. Who is... <laughs> I'm here for bad takes, bro. Check out the comments. <laughs> you get a player that's that's looking to prove something now too, because he didn't end up where he wanted to end up initially, and, he, and, and, and he, he would have and to it's prove... been bad blood, and it's you know he yeah, thought he was going to go back to Serie A. It'll and... be bad blood very quickly if he doesn't prove himself immediately. Yeah. I feel that is with, out of all the fans. The scenario is Mbappe's there. You might not really get that spotlight that you're thinking. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? If the scenario is Mbappe's there and he's facilitating for Mbappe, Real quick, I think guys. he's going to get a lot of love.